Okay, and this is how it started. Water, and today we're going to try and find nice little coves and beaches all around Tall Bay um, before the sun goes down. Obviously we've only got a few hours so um, yeah we both grew up here so we know it quite well and um, yeah this is where what I'm currently looking at. Beautiful. Do you reckon you could jump off? Yeah. No look like, genuinely. Like, it's got to get deep enough to jump off. Right? No but if you went to like the end Surely the whole thing would be jump off. Babe, get back. Babe, please. <gasps> you <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was jumping to my death? Yeah. Didn't really do anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wander through Brixham town. It's very cute, very quaint, very seaside pirate vibes and here is the pirate ship. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Aww. You don't know where the Golden Hind is here. Is that? It's, that's not the Golden Hind. Oh. So Francis Drake took 60 men to think he took it on that. <laughs> what, 60? And this is a miniature replica of the whole time. I reckon you could fit 60 men on that. So it turns out this isn't the actual gold mine. It turns out that's not a real man. <laughs> So we got our eyes on the little dab and rum. <laughs> Gotta be done. Get in my belly. Mm. <laughs> Is it good? It's lovely. It's nice. It's really nice. That's really nice. Alright. Right, so that taster you saw was clearly for both of us. Tom, the greedy drunk that he is, the Paul Theatre himself, so no more of the driver.
climb up that, walk along there, and then jump off the end of that. Right, so that was Albury Cove, really cute little cove in Brixham, I think, outskirts of Brixham. Charleston. Charleston. And now we're gonna head over to Paynton. Welcome to Paynton. Welcome to Torbado. Chilly now, getting the layers on, doing our dry robe, it's a safe day. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in Peyton. This is where Tom and I had our second date. And I think I attempted to jump on this thing and ended up flat on my face. Mm. Should have read the sign. takeaway oat latte from Cantina and uh, we're gonna head back to the van and drive over to Torquay. Okay so <laughs> I've not actually started her today um, obviously the battery's running a bit low that's why we're having to keep jumping it because it's not fully charged um, obviously we're just gonna get a new one soon but um, yeah I'm really hoping she starts. over to Torquay uh, we've left it a bit late in the day again we've just been a bit lazy um, so yeah I think we're gonna start at Odakim and Babakin Beach um, somewhere I where I grew up 
so I know it very well and it's a beautiful little spot but we're not going to go to Torquay Seafront um, I'll show you it through the window but it's not my favourite spot in Torquay like it gets very overcrowded it's like right on the front I like all the little coves hidden away um, down the cliffs and that <laughs> what am I even saying? It's the sight of palm trees and the dazzle of Riviera villas that stir your memory. The opulence and luxury are what you'd expect to find somewhere along the Mediterranean. The Chicolo is French, but the cry is Vive les Anglais. Look again, and you'll recognize Torquay as the town which has adopted a French atmosphere. And it's known as the English Riviera. Riviera, Riviera. Right, so now we're heading down to Oddington Beach. Bit of a steep one. There is um, a statue of a small lady. <laughs> here we go. And right ahead of us is the Cliff Railway, which has been here since, there since like the 19th century. Very old school, very ancient. So yeah, it's right on the beach front and that's Barbican Beach over there. Got a nice little cafe. Like I say, you can't usually park here in the summer, so it's nice to be able to get down here. Right, so I'm just gonna cook something nice and easy because yeah, I'm lazy some days. Got a bit of ravioli. So stove. Gassing it this time because you usually always run out. any like van I can't speak today <laughs> if anybody has any like van meal ideas please let us know in the comments because I'm kind of struggling what's like an easy go-to meal it just seems to always be pasta burgers or like noodles and I think it's just more difficult because we get to build like the kitchen area so we're just working with a flap and a bodyboard as you saw before had a bit of a cliff fall here. There's actually a house up there, up there somewhere. Well, there was a house, half of it fell down a few years ago. <laughs> Scary. And um, yeah, I spent many years on this beach growing up. So I have some fond memories here. Beautiful when it's the summer. How's the food doing? in there. 
Let's get in there. Okay, so that's the ravioli cooked. I'm just gonna drain out the water and get it in my belly. Does it look a little bit sad? It's a bit sketchy, like it's a sheer drop right there, so I might just stay here. A lot of cliff erosion around here. So right in there, beach for beach, and that's where we're going to probably camp tonight. But yeah, it's so peaceful, nobody around this time of year. Definitely a place to come and just zen and chill out. Okay, so that was Thatcher's Rock. Bit out of breath, walking up that hill because clearly a bit unfit. So yeah, we're gonna round this day trip up down at Meadfoot Beach. So we have to go the long way around. So um, yeah, I believe you can park down there overnight. Well, if you can't, I see people do it all the time. So um, yeah, we're gonna head down there and um, just chill out for the night. There's like a lot of vans parking along here and I believe it actually does say Should we just park here? No overnight camp Yeah, no. Should we go here? Okay, so we're now settled at Meadfoot, just finished off the pasta and I'm going to make a nice hot chocolate and settle down. There's quite a few other vans here, so um, we won't be on our own tonight. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed coming around to Bay with us. We've definitely missed quite a few spots, but obviously due to time and um, obviously the sun going down quicker. I mean, it's only like four o'clock now. So, um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And um, please let us know what you think in the comments. Please like, subscribe to our channel. It really means a lot and hopefully we can get some more videos out again soon and um, yeah we'll see you next time